First blood has been spilled in the battle for the Liberal leadership with a frosty silence turning into a bitter sledging match. Martin Hamilton-Smith has been forced onto the defensive by accusations he's tearing the party apart. The gloves are off as the party room brawl turns personal. It's been ugly for a long time. He's made very ugly, yeah. Embattled leadership duo Isabel Redmond and Mitch Williams turning their sights on Martin Hamilton-Smith. This guy is a serial challenger. He has challenged three leaders. We all have the best interests of South Australia and the Liberal Party at heart. I don't believe Martin has the best interests of the Liberal Party at heart. I'm saddened that uh, personal attacks have been made. After going to ground for two days, Ms Redmond yesterday released a statement confirming she'd stand in tomorrow's ballot, adding she wouldn't make any further public comment. She's since conducted extensive interviews in print and on radio. Martin is painting himself as a policy guru and I don't believe that he is. I've been active in uh, developing uh, our position on health, including our policy position. I believe his position in relation to Olympic Dam was that we should oppose it. I uh, fully supported Olympic Dam in the Parliament and in the party room, but I uh, have always had the view uh, that we might have been able to get a better deal for South Australian workers. Ms Redmond also questioned her opponent's military background. I think that that is less likely to appeal to the public at large in terms of the Premier that they want to install. I might suggest to you that you put that question to uh, some ex-servicemen's organisations as to whether or not they were offended by those remarks. Even Isabel Redmond concedes her opponent has 12 solid votes in the 25-strong party room, which means if she can win tomorrow, it will only be due to her own casting vote. Isabel's put this party in a position not just to win the next election, but to turn us into a minimum of three-term government. Tearing the party apart puts all of that in jeopardy. This is the sort of thing that this party is renowned for. Tom Richardson, Nine News.